Hi Libra, how are you? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Michelle, and this is your weekly reading. How are you, babes? I hope everybody's doing amazing. And with that said, you guys know the drill. Let's dive in with your reading, Libra. You know, we love readings here. So, before anything, a quick reminder that my readings have no date, they are divinely guided, everything has free will, not everything is going to resonate with all of you. Keep in mind that the roles could be reversed between you and your person. And with that said, let's dive in. These are all general, so keep that in mind. That everything contains free will. For those who would like to fight in the comments before saying anything, look on the Google what free will means and then come back to me. With that said, let's dive in. Petty Queen. So we got the Strength card in reverse, which is a Leo energy. We also have the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the four of swords libra gemini aquarius we have the high priestess in reverse pisces energy we got the king of swords libra gemini aquarius we got the nine of pentacles towards regal capricorn and overall energy page of ones we got again leo sagittarius aries energy at the bottom we got the page of pentacles right here so we have a very a very um indecisive energy that's what i'm getting here this person is going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. One day they gain strength, the next day they lose it. One day they have, you know, I have everything in my mind. I am ready to tell Libra something. And at the last minute they give up. With the Four of Swords, this person is either or. Either or they have always suffered it or they suffer from anxiety. Some of you Libras might be feeling anxious, um, like a little bit like not like yourself of course when i say this is not all of you and why do i have to remind you guys all of this even though that you guys seem to know some people need to be guided like a two-year-old walking on the sidewalk you know with little signs and apples and bananas because some people don't seem to understand that these are general and the beautiful thing quick thing beautiful thing is that they they put the comments and then they delete it before i can comment why are you so scared? You're scared. I know you are. You're so scared of me. I love that. Evil vibes here. Oh, oh, oh. Disney villain here. Anyways, going back and forth here with their indecisiveness. They are suffering from anxiety most likely. With high priestess in reverse. They don't have they have very low self-confidence here. Um they see you on high regard. Sorry, my very synthetic wig was getting stuck. But anyways, uh, they're like, like I said, have very low self-esteem. And they do see you in high regard, Libra. They do see you in high regard. But they see themselves as Libras too good for me. Which we can agree. But um, that's how they, they view the situation. With the King of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. I still see them like stalking you in a way. I do see them stalking your social media. And uh, you're looking good, Libra. You're looking better than ever. You're looking hella hot, hella sexy here. And they're like on the couch or in their bed like, damn, I had all of that. I had all of that, Libra. And I just got to see it through a fake profile. Got to see it without adding them on my friends. Like I had it. I had the taste of it. Yet I couldn't have it because I spit it out. You know what I'm saying? Like... You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, it was their bad. So they're looking at you like, ooh, look at this piece of Libra. You're too hot, too good, doing better than ever, having the attention you deserve, and they're just looking so sad and be like, and like ooh, I had all of that, and I, and I let it go. Like, and I hear, like, some of them, their friends or somebody that they know is like, bro or girl, you had that, and now that, you let that slip out of your hands, like where's the brains there with well, a picture once right here but they're telling themselves don't worry i got a plan a very naive a very teenager like plan to reach out to libra so pre <laughs> keep in mind that somebody is planning i'm not sure if they're going to we're gonna look into it in a few minutes thinking planning of reaching out to you libra with the page of pentacles yes they are about to it's like you know when somebody is have you seen um the pools right when somebody is in that thing and they're getting closer and closer because they're so afraid of the height of of the of the height and then they jump and do dive in 
you know, in the pools or I don't know, in the mountains, whatever it is. But, you know, when somebody's about to dive in, but, you know, the, the closer they get, the nervous they get. Some people or some kids go little by little and they go back because they're so afraid, but then they come back because they want to do it. So that's how your person is like, they want to do it. They want to do it. They're just cowardly. <laughs> and or fearful of the dive in because they don't know what is going to receive them either either or water or rocks with the two of ones right here yeah it seems to be that this person either or likes to travel we got leo sagittarius aries energy here as well we also have another libra i don't know if i said this but pisces cancer scorpio uh taurus Virgo, capricorn we have air again your energy uh gemini and our aquarius and the leo sagittarius aries i'm sorry if i didn't do it better late than never they have this person likes to travel or have been traveling lately this person it seems to be that they're thinking about their next move relocation wise or next vacation perhaps it seems to be that they are i heard thinking of visiting you not necessarily like you you but exactly maybe around where you live some of you not all of you others of you this is this is a representation they acknowledging that they had the world with you they had it all with you and then they have the intention of getting that back you know the hero fun right here taurus energies here it seems to be that you could be very spiritual they could be spiritual as well not necessarily but it could possibilities here you guys have, have a very intense and telepathic uh connection here um this person either or has been going to church a lot or seeking for advice and help as they were feeling very lost lately with the moon right here, I see loneliness, Pisces energy. I see loneliness and wanting to scream but not screaming. I see you both are like two separate wolves looking at the moon, howling at the moon, like calling each other. And this is energetically, okay? Because of course, our physically, we won't do that. <laughs> but energetically, you guys are howling like like agony that wanting to wanting to be together calling one another there's an important new moon or, or full moon that is going to help with the connection or it's important we got the chariot in reverse cancer energy yeah uh it seems to be that somebody it could be both of you or one or the other has been wanting and or manifesting some sort of movement some sort of clarity some sort of manifestation when it comes to communication or moving forward or even letting go others of you but it hasn't happened so uh, the connection feels very stuck and your person feels very stuck with the eight of pentacles uh taurus energy virgo capricorn as well we got the ten of swords in the reverse and the five of swords so your person um has been working on themselves working a lot too you could also be working a lot you know life money bills will find their way to you um some, the, somehow i don't think it, i don't know if it's work or like i said because they have been going to either or church or some like spiritual uh, advice or mentor whatever that is or whoever it is they have been working on themselves a lot and they and they got them thinking got them thinking of i heard that somebody or this could be they themselves asking this to themselves uh what is the memory you regret the most or what is the action you regret the most and they had to picture that in, in in their in their brain to give an answer right and that's when they saw this picture the ten of swords in the reverse the the thing that they actually regret the most libra is lying to you hurting you playing with you because now they understand the the level of disrespect the level of hurt and deceiving and gaslight things that they did to you now they see it and i know for some of you it could be too late and i'm not asking you to do anything you don't want because like i said before i'm not the terror reader that's going to tell you my way or the highway i'm gonna tell you do you but if you come and say you're saying this i want to stop you right there because i'm like no boo boo gaga don't put words in my mouth i'm a grown ass girl and i'm saying what i'm saying you take it or you don't simple that's what a general reading is so my wake is agreeing also so with that said um they picture that in their head and they actually understood and knew that the thing that they 
hate that they did the most and the thing that they regret the most was this image right here the ten of swords in the reverse which is hurting you hurting you lying to you giving you so many fake hope you know whatever that was you know better than me unfortunately right because you know your story with detail i can always always give the surface of multiple possibility as this is general and there's multiple possibilities here so and then they're asking so whoever this person is helping your person is asking them okay so how can you make that memory go away how can you make the guilt go away or how can you make it better and the answer was five of swords well, i gotta fix it i gotta take away they got to literally come back and with the five of swords this is what i'm seeing here with the five of swords right here pick up one by one that sword and remove it carefully carefully which it which it means that a simple sorry a simple a simple a simple text is not what what this is all about they are understanding that they have to come back as an adult as the person that they claim to be now and say hey libra i'm sorry let me show you what do you want for the forgiveness like they have to earn that forgiveness so that's why they're deciding to come back i'm seeing somebody wanting to come back deciding to fix what they have damaged okay and when i'm telling you this of course there's no science behind it that we can't change the past there's no science behind it that we can't undo what is already done but we can make the wounds heal right uh, always is always gonna be scarring always because again it's that is what we call lessons memory mistakes whatever it is right but those wounds are not gonna be open and bleeding is gonna be healed and that is what it's all about when a past person comes into your life this could be a completely second chance as a couple this could be just closure ending the karma let me just pick up those cards so that is what i'm seeing here that is the purpose of them coming back with the three of pentacles right here can we clarify the three of pentacles again i see earth energy and the justice in reverse <laughs> okay. libra energy and the queen of wands so like i said before things in between you two is quite tense things between you two like when you think about them or the memory you're not gonna think at the sweetest memory you're gonna think at this the memory that hurt you the most right which is you on the floor with those swords this person has to come with not only an offer but most likely multiple offers or multiple ways to show you that that offer is valid to either or take them back or get the apology you uh you have been seeking because what the queen of wands i see somebody here very beautiful i see a very strong leo by the way i see somebody here very beautiful but i wish you guys could see this image her face she's beautiful she's strong independent regardless of gender okay i'm saying she because this is the image of the card you make it uh, the gender you like so she's beautiful independent and she is looking better than ever and perhaps money wise and financially she's better than ever she needs nobody she has she pays her bills you know that's her bills are paid <laughs> like that one show but anyways she is very very hurt she's carrying this weight she's carrying this hurt that is causing trust issues that is causing perhaps image issues like you know thinking that you're not enough thinking that you need to be a certain way because you are saying to yourself perhaps right not all of you but the image and the and the feelings i'm getting is like if the soulmate that was supposed to be my soulmate or twin flame was in my life and they were the one who hurt you the most who hurt me who hurt me the most what is gonna give me that somebody else won't do it so you are walking life with this big wound that you don't want to acknowledge because you think without touching it without digging in it without removing that sword is going to heal on its own no you're just going to get used to the pain it's going to always sting and you're going to always have that in your energies 
and that is why and I'm gonna make it an example because a lot of people seem to misunderstood the purpose of the universe and that's what I'm here for to give you the guidance you seek because being a teenager when it comes to the situations like this being very re rebel is not gonna change that so that's why I have the attitude because as a tarot reader you gotta set put somebody sometimes in their place so they can have a little bit of reality okay so why am I saying this the way I'm saying it think about it as when you go to school you got a teacher and you got an exam what happened what is happening or what happens when you have a couple answers wrong and you give it to the to the teacher you might not pass right and what happens if you don't pass the test you may down the road fail that class right so sometimes the teacher will say hey there you go there's the test again look over have an over an overlook overlook everything and look at where wh whatever was wrong sometimes the teacher will point it out sometimes you have to go over the whole damn paper to see and to use your intuition and perhaps to go slower look at it in detail to find what answer was the one you got wrong right so what that happens you sometimes see things that you perhaps overlook and you see where the mistake was wrong and you're able to fix it give it back to the teacher and he or she's gonna say good job what happens when you refuse to take that paper back and you go like no I did what I did it's fine it's perfect if it's wrong it's wrong and what's gonna happen you're gonna fail the class and who is who is gonna be the person who is gonna get hurt the most the teacher which we can call that the universe is it gonna be your co-workers no right it's gonna be the neighbor next door no it's gonna be you and that's why the universe so kindly gives you back that test because you can see a soulmate a person from the past a person from the past can be seen and looked as a test because you will have to go through it again you think you have the answers but no you don't because there's a reason why they're giving it back there's a reason why you guys did not uh, pass something right so it is not your teacher's job to figure it out for you it is not your family member it is not your tarot reader it is you you gotta sit down and look at the damn paper and find out what was wrong and then you may tell me but it was them it don't matter they are your paper it's affecting your life right it's affecting your emotions it's affecting your moving on so took take a look at the damn paper fucking fix it and move on if that is the case and then you go to the next to the next level or keep the paper and put it under the rug to see how that works for you at the end of the day the only person who is going to be hurting themselves it is you because you don't want to look at something that you think you have the answers for being stubborn is not going to tell get get you anywhere and then you tell me it is not me bye why are you here you should have said bye the minute you read the, the title you want to convince you by giving me attitude that you are moved on when at the end of the day i have my fiance i have everybody here i'm not the one who is going through karma because people and i'm not trying to brag like oh, blah, blah. i'm just saying that the minute that you gave me attitude you're doing nothing because either or i'll delete the comment i will forget about it most likely or i will i will even see it so what i'm doing here right now is preparing you for your test every single reading that you see in my channel for every single zodiac sign is me being the teacher to help you go through that test and make sure you're successful for whatever the outcome is that you are seeking hmm? because like i said before i already went through it and i mastered it like the teacher that's giving you the, the freaking class or test we are here to help you not fail anymore or point out things that you may not know to know why things are this that that way okay so unless you're willing to take spirit messages readings your tarot readers not only me anybody messages as a teacher who is just wanting to help you you are going to continue fail your karmatic situation oh that looks sexual as hell <laughs> anyways but um 
you're going to continue in that karmic situation. And then you're going to come back and be like, oh, I'm already moved on. You haven't. So the only person you can gaslight is your dog if you have one. So with the three of pentacles right here, again, it is time to build to build what it was broken, to fix what it was broken, to make sure it's not only standing, but it's actually a piece of art. That's what I heard. The two of cups. Deeds, deeds. This needs to be fixed. This needs to be fixed. If you see this, if you see this, this reminds me of the um, hospital sign, you know, in the ERs and whatnot. So this is telling me that this is this love is needing of healing of help like medicine and here medicine is coming back and fixing what was toxic and removing it completely right 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 so pretty much it's telling you that this is beautiful but it needs fixing it needs fixing because it's not hurting just you, it's hurting them as well. Regardless here, who did that, who did that, it don't matter. Because why does it matter? Because the point here is not for me to make you feel bad for them. It's for me to tell you what's good in both sides so you can actually take the actual action that is going to give you the outcome you and your heart want, whichever outcome it is. You understand what I'm saying? If you want them back, come up, come over, come over, baby. You know, if not, it's like you can call, you can put this song that says, call me Miss Moving On. Ah. You know, you know, you got karaoke here. You can choose whatever song you want. But the point is that they need to come back to help you, to help you heal so you can move on properly or you can receive them properly. Look, the three of swords. There is a lot of pain and hurt in this connection. A lot of things that were said that were not proper. A lot of things that were done that were that is causing internal damage, internal hurt. Somebody's bleeding out without even bleeding out. The heart needs fixing. The heart needs a surgeon, spiritual surgeon that helps you understand what is wrong so you can remove that freaking knife so you can actually heal properly. And look, the nine of swords, now they're coming in. Now they're coming in. This is a quest, okay? This is a quest, which we can translate that to an exam or a test. The magician right here. And this represents you, Libra. You are the person who is supposedly the most spiritual of the both of you, who is at this time wiser now. <coughs> is wiser and she have everything all the tools that they need to succeed to make this succeed that is what some of people some of the people do not understand that is what i am so straightforward and that could be considered bitchy but Trust me, one of the biggest lessons in your life is that, one, you don't get always what you want, and three, just because you want it, it doesn't happen. Just because you want it a certain way, it's not going to happen that way. Just because I want my cupcake to be done in 10 minutes, if the box says it's going to be done in an hour, it's going to be an hour. Simple. There are things that we can't just take shortcuts. And change and healing and being wiser, and that doesn't take... Uh, a vacation of two days takes sometimes years. With a page of wands. Yeah. This person is done watching you. They're done hiding. This person was not only hiding because they were avoiding you. They were avoiding the fact that they were the douchebag on the connection here. They're avoiding that. Because do you think... Somebody who is not guilty of something, why are they so afraid to face you? Why are they so afraid to look back? 
you think would you know what i'm saying so this person knew exactly what they were doing what they were doing it and they knew exactly why they left and now they're coming back and they're coming back you see this naked naked because again this time they cannot lie to you or gaslight you this time you have seen the good and the ugly so they're literally this is a representation of having nothing to lose and being vulnerable because you see them as it is no matter what car they drive no matter how much money they give you you pocket it girl if they give you money you take it right <laughs> but i'm saying that <clears throat> It don't matter what they're offering you. You're going to move that aside and be like, thank you. What do you want? You know what I'm trying to say? You see right through them like an like an X-ray. <coughs> With the seven of cups right here. You are not here to waste your time, Libra. You are not here to waste your time with wishy-washy dates, wishy-washy words. You're like, no, I'm sorry, that's not going to work anymore. And you're like, you know what? I am sexy. I am hot. But guess what? You can't come back into my life anymore, dude or girl, with this. Maybe it'll work. Or maybe out of state. You know, you want actions that have meaning. You don't want actions that are done just because it's the right thing, you know? Yeah, you're not surprised by their offering. And this person is frustrated and they're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And then <clears throat> because Libra, Libra is this, the Ten of Swords. You're still hurting. And you have this of like, I don't care. I'm not hurt, but you are hurt. And it's all because of the King of Cups. I'm sorry, the King of Wands. And the reverse. You'll say there's Aries. It's that promise that was not fulfilled. It's that love that at the moment wasn't pure, at least on their end. Some of you walked away from this person. And I'm going to say something that is heartbreaking that I understand 100% and that not all of you, but some of you went through. Do you know why you left Libra for whoever left the person or stopped communication? You know why you did that? You didn't do that because you were only fed up with them. You wanted them to chase you. You wanted them to stop you and to tell you, I'm sorry. I am going to change. Let's work this out. Because you deep down did not want to end it. But you had to. You had to because you were drowning in this connection. It was beautiful but at the same time it was toxic. You were losing your essence day by day with the way they were acting. The way they treated you sometimes. The way you, they made you feel. And... Uh, you can't, and this is for whoever likes to comment stuff, you cannot tell a person how to feel when you treat them a certain way. I, I don't know if you have encountered this, but have you ever encountered people who tell you how to react after an insult? To tell you how to react after they break your heart? It's not a big of a deal for you. For whoever got the, the, the punch in the face, whoever got the stab on the heart, and, it, and the beautiful thing about that, bro, is that you saw who did it. So don't tell people how to react how, when, they're, when they're hurt. You understand that? And I'm not talking about you, Libra. I'm talking about whoever, ever, ever tells you that. This is you telling them. Your emotions are valid. Your emotions must be felt. And nobody, Libra, Libra, Libra will tell you how to react because they did not hesitate when they wanted to hurt you because hurting somebody is sometimes intentional but sometimes it's, in, it's not intentional but at this point this person knew was going to hurt you whoever this libra is this person knew was going to hurt you and that's why the guilt is in their energies that's why they're so guilty they feel so bad I, I know I have other readings that Libra that this person says that the reading might say 
they didn't mean to. But this person, it's like a mixed feeling. They didn't mean to hurt you, but at the same time, they knew that whatever they were doing was not correct. They knew that they were going to hurt you. So I think this person was confused, not in right and wrong only, but in what they were doing. This could be an excuse. This could be somebody who's unaware. Again, who is going to be able to answer you that is this person when they come back and you're able to sit down and ask that again, before you say something to me, I didn't date you. It's not me. I'm just giving you a message. And when somebody asks me, who do you think you are? The La baby witch tarot, the one that you're watching. So again, we all hear queen and kings, but hey, a mama bear. With a seven of wands in the reverse. Again, this person is up for a fight. And I feel like they're losing this fight. The hero font. I feel like the connection is intense, but it don't matter anymore. Because before Libra, you could have forgotten or forgotten anything and everything from this individual. But it doesn't matter anymore because you're like, I know who you are and I know what you mean for me. But it doesn't matter anymore. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it don't matter anymore that you're going to treat them. You're not going to long. You're no longer giving them the special treatment, the VIP treatment. You're giving them the treatment of somebody that you used to know. Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Judgment Day, Karma. Again, this is the Judgment Day, Karma. I think we've been seeing this for a minute in the Ace of Wands. Oh my God, look what I'm seeing here, babe. I always seen this card as a happy family, right? But right now, I'm seeing it differently. This is like a time machine. This is you two now. Looking back at what you guys used to be. So. This is. Judgment day right now. It's facing you. With who you guys are right now. And who you guys used to be. In this, the Ace of Wands is what's left. What's left. This used to be a strong, very long wand, right? Right now, it's very short. This is something that is still alive, an organic thing. But the judgment is going to determine something. And it's going to help you guys understand if you guys are here or here. Why? The judgment day will make you face old feelings, old memories. But we also go back to what you're doing right now and the life that you have built right now. So it's determined, determined what is, what is gonna happen pretty much. And this is it, they're giving you this choice. We got this ace of wands here, Libra. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to take it and build something that's workable? Or are you going to say things for the memories? You know what I'm trying to say? Let's see how is your person feeling right now. Because I'm explaining you the situation. I always explain to you how they feel and da, da 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 But the situation needs to be broken this way so you understand what is the purpose of me giving you this reading today. What is the purpose of my channel, perhaps? <sighs> the Ace of Pentacles, the uh, Nine of Cups, the Judgment Day in Reverse Karma. 
Libra, the Hierophant, and the Hangman right here. So, they had to go back. Like, I see a path coming back, right? With a Nine of Cups right here. I see them being tired. And I also feel like your person has understood that they wasted a lot of freaking time. They already had their judgment day. Okay? Because we were talking about judgment day as a karmic situation. But they had it also as a person. They had to understand the value of what they let go. They have to understand in what scale they messed up. They could have gotten played the same way they played you. They could have been uh, treated the same way they treated you. Because the universe wanted to teach them a lesson. It's like, and I'm going to explain it the way I like to explain for people who may not understand what I'm saying before as jumping to conclusions. Because, honey, I'm sharp as a, as, a, as a knife when it comes to cutting people's misunderstandings. Think about it as a team of a base, um, sport team, baseball, basketball, whatever. So, what happens when you, sit, when you put me to play any sport games. I don't get it. If you put me there, I'm going to f freaking fail, right? I don't have an interest of playing. So I'm not gonna put any effort, right? But now, what happened if you put a person who is, who is interested in the sport, they're gonna actually want to play. Once they play, they understand the game. And they understand the wanting of winning. What it brings. What it means. That it's more than a tro trophy. They also understand the meaning and the feeling of what is losing. And what means to lose for them. If you put me in a team or in a sport, right, that I don't like. It don't matter for me who wins and who loses. Because I was uninterested. I was just there because I thought, because I wanted to be there, but I didn't actually care. So your person was talking to you at the time because you were put in their path. But they refused to put the effort to play, to understand. So whenever they lost you at the time that they did, they didn't care because they didn't know the value they didn't understand what was happening right because they didn't care at the time they didn't want to put the effort that was a choice now time passes and they have changed things change in life you know you get older you get wiser your your, your likings and needs change now they are put on they saw they saw this person we call it we can put it as a game too you put them the, the name you want it so they were put under that person's person's path because that person was going to be their karma without them knowing so they were interested in the game like i was explaining before but this person was just there so because the, the person or your person was feeding the connection they were doing they were doing you know some people like to be liked so your person was like the, the other person was like okay your person is there let, let's let's see where it goes they really didn't have an interest they really didn't care so they didn't care to know to understand to try to work whenever they walked away they didn't even look back because they were there just because your person was put on their path so now your person understood the pain not only you but other people that they played has gone through and that is the price to pay in life you don't get to have a VIP pass you are going to be paid, uh, you are going to be, go you are going to, what is the name? You are going to have a little bit of your own medicine. 
the same way no matter if it's a year two three after that so that is the karma and the judgment day i'm talking about your person here you see how complicated is the situation it's more complicated than me sitting here and talking about me and girls too or disney channel love stories hmm? karmic and soulmates are more far way more complicated than multiple trolls think it is regardless of what you think is more complicated than that you can consider it a game you can consider it a quest i'm not gonna put words in your mouth you name it the best way you want you want it you take it you don't walk away simple but the soulmate so now moving forward right they went through that and they actually that's when they went to the help with spiritual because they were they were sad and they were just wanting to fill a void and that is when whoever this person could have been is helping them fighting their own demons and that's when working doing some shadow work you came into memory because you were always meant to come to memory and they had to see them as who they really were in the in the paper the villain they were never the victim in the story they were the villain so because they started remembering how you treated them and how they treated you that is the guilt building up for years for months for weeks for days until the soul can't take it no more and they have this need to reach out to see how you're doing to see if they can make it up to you now this person feel it's feeling tied down to i want to but i can't the universe is conspiring pushing this but with the Queen of Pentacles right here, the fact is that they know the Queen of Pentacles, which is you, it might be unavailable. But the sun, but the universe, your ancestors, Leo energy is watching over you. And this needs to happen. Like I said before. Because like I explained how I'm seeing the Ten of Cups today for you, Libra. You both need to forgive what happened in the past. They need to forgive themselves, but for them to forgive themselves, you got to forgive them. But going back to this, there's a need of going back in time, literally, to fix what was done there. How do you fix something from the past? Sitting down and be like, remember when I did this? Or you bring it up and you guys have a conversation and you dissect what happened. Sometimes I'm telling you this, Libra, today. Don't ask questions that you're not ready to listen to, to have. Don't ask questions if you're not ready for that answer. Okay? Because what I see here is sitting here, judgment, not lovers, like, oh, lovey-dovey, let's walk on unicorns, let's walk in rainbow. No. This is sitting here with the person who broke your heart and be like, so I got a bunch of questions what has happened and you sit there and you have a heart to heart conversations and when i say this people think it's lovey-dovey let's walk in a rainbow no heart to heart conversations when you open up Vul being vulnerable with one another and they have to sit there and answer those questions i see a very intense important conversation here for most of you I wish I could say it's all of you, Libra. But most of you is going to have that. We're going to have that. And there's going to be your time, if you desire that, to ask questions. And perhaps you can tell them how you felt when they did it, too. Like, you know. And here I see ego, pride, um, who's right, who's wrong, not, not mattering. I 
I see somebody that could be a queen, a king of wands, right? Because I just don't want to put genders out there. Who is willing to sit and perhaps negotiate? Or at least to understand what has happened. I'm going to tell you something as well, Libra. Soulmates are not a fairy tale. Soulmates are not going to be sometimes the, the, the king charming, the queen charming. <laughs> that is going to save you from the tower. Sometimes it's the, it's the person who puts you in the tower. And it teaches you that you are your own damn prince. And you are your own damn knight. And you get out of that tower on your own. Sometimes that's what has happened. Sometimes maybe that's how us Cinderella's can become the queen. Sadly, that's what it is. A soulmate is the one that's going to reflect the good and the bad. And it's going to break you down so you can see every little piece of you. So you can understand how complete you are, them being in your life or not. When you achieve that. They can come back, most likely as a test, making amends, or for you to understand that they were never good anyways, and you walk away. But, again, I feel for you, because I do understand. I do understand how upsetting this is sometimes. But, look at you right now. A bad bitch. Hmm? Look at us right now. You wouldn't be here with the strength, with who you are, with how you are without this test. And they wouldn't be the person they are today if it weren't for you. It sucks as hell. But the biggest magic comes from the biggest pain sometimes. What are their feelings towards Libra? They want to apologize to you with the Six of Pentacles. They want, they want to make it right. Excuse me, I burped. They want to show you the person they have become. They want to heal that love that you guys shared once and most likely may share a tiny bit. They do see a future with you. They would like to. This seems to, for me, higher levels of commitment, marriage, engagement, a serious relationship. I feel like that contract, you know, when we are under a contract in the universe, we are like bounded. You know, and it means that no matter what you do, you're always having this connection. So sometimes it feels like. It don't matter if you don't choose them, they're there. That's how it can feel like. But the beautiful thing is when that, that contract is over, you guys will have the free will energetically to choose to go to separate ways or to get together. Because the human free will and the energetic free will is different. And that is when sometimes some tarot readers say, we don't really have free will because the universe has it all under control. You know? And that is energetically is different than the human world because I'm a tarot reader, but I could easily ignore that, you know, and just do something else. It's not like I'm under a gun, like a gun in my head. Right. But it means that it was meant in my energies and something or somewhere in me. I will always have the tarot reader. I am today. Hold on, guys. But again, going back to this, the karmatic contract or so is over and they still chose you they're still choosing you so this goes by beyond the contract here this is something that i could sit here and explain but i'm just trying to do the least i can do for you guys is this because again it would have been two hours of reading and everyone's gonna get bored but hey 
I'm just trying to do my best with the least amount of time because I don't want people to get bored. Because my readings are not only like, he loves you, girl, and you are going to have 20 kids. No, mine are more educational for you to understand you, understand them, understand the situation. But I always make sure that you know, you know that you have the free will. You have the last word to say, hey, you know, it's good that I have a contract, but I don't want it, you know. In the universe, the beautiful thing about the universe is they respect your 3D. Uh